Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Rakyat Nara. My name is Muhammad Ibrahim Ramadhani. Today we are going to tell you a story about Danau Toba. Yeah. In the region of Sumatra, there lived a very diligent, hard-working farmer who lived alone. He worked every day to farm and fish tirelessly to meet his daily needs. Yeah. One day, the farmer went to the river near, near where he lived. He intended to catch some fish to make a meal for himself. With only a hook, bait, and a fish basket, he went straight to the river. After arriving at the river, the farmer immediately threw his bait hook. While waiting for the fish to take the bait, the farmer prayed, Dear God, I hope I, can, I catch plenty of fish today. Moments after praying, the hook he was throwing seemed to wobble. He immediately pulled his hook. The farmer was very happy because the fish captured was very big and very beautiful. After a moment of looking at the catch, the farmer was shocked. Apparently, the fish he captured was able to talk. Please do not eat me, sir. Let me live. The fish shouted. Without hesitation, the farmer unhooked the fish from his wheel and returned the fish to the water again. After returning the fish to the water, the farmer grew surprised because suddenly the fish turned into a very beautiful woman. Do not be afraid, sir. I will not hurt you, said, said the fish, who was standing before him as a woman. Who are you? Are you not a fish? asked the farmer. I am a princess who is cursed for, the violating, for violating the rule of the kingdom, replied the woman. Thank you for freeing me from the curse, and in return, I am willing to be your wife, she said. The farmer agreed, so they became husband and wife. However, there was one promise that had been agreed upon, in which they could not tell anyone that the princess was originally a fish. If the promise is violated, there will be a catastrophe. After some time passed up the day he got married, the happiness of the farmer and his wife increased because the wife of the farmer gave birth to a baby boy. Their child grew into a very handsome and strong child. However, the child was always feeling hungry, and he never felt full. The boy had eaten all the food rations without leaving any behind. One day, the farmer's son got a job from his mother to deliver food and drink to the rice field, where his father was working, but his job was not fulfilled. All the food that was supposed to be for his father was eaten by his son, and after that, he fell asleep in a hut. The farmer waited for his son. Yeah. The farmer waited for his son, thirsty and hungry, unable to bear the hunger. He immediately went home. On the way home, the farmer saw his son sleeping in the hut. The farmer immediately woke him up. Hey, wake up! Shot the farmer. After his son woke up, the farmer immediately asked for his food. Where's the food for me? Asked the farmer. I've eaten it. His son replied. In a high tone, the farmer immediately sighed his son. You are a red full and selfish son of a fish. The farmer snorted and were that he had broken his promise to his wife. After the farmer uttered the word, immediately the child and his wife disappeared without threat. Water suddenly sprang out from his footstep. The water overflowed so high and wiped that it formed a lake. That lake is now known as Lake Toba. Thank you for listening. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.